They were just teenagers, siblings. Tonight, they're being mourned. The three young lives taken in a devastating weekend crash. A family and community struggling to process an unimaginable loss. Good evening. All three under the age of 20. It's a tragedy that is hard to comprehend. Killed in a single vehicle crash, their car hitting a tree early Saturday morning. CTV's Janice Golding is live in Brampton with our top story tonight. Janice. Hi, Michelle. Yes, a family and a community are in mourning after three teenage siblings lost their lives here in a fiery crash crash at 2 a.m. Saturday morning. Now, if you take a look behind us here, you'll actually see the remnants of the charred vehicle mixed amongst the candles, flowers, and teddy bears that mourners have left behind. Home security video shows a fiery ball. You can't even see the car. The flames have engulfed. You couldn't tell. The fire flames were that, that high that you couldn't tell. Doug Gilson, who lives three doors away, says it was only when the fire was put out that you could see a white Honda Civic, its front end wrapped around a tree. It went up too quick. You know, the way they hit, obviously the car burst into flames immediately. Today, a memorial continues to grow at the corner of Elmvale and Conestoga in Brampton, the site where three siblings lost their lives in a catastrophic crash early Saturday morning. Hearts, hearts of gold, all of them, you know, it's common amongst the three of them, anybody who knows them would tell you the same thing. They all had hearts of gold. And... The teen's uncle, Almond Blackman, has identified the siblings as Judah, Tirza, and Pharaoh Blackman Lowell. A GoFundMe page says 19-year-old Tirza was working toward becoming a real estate agent and was one of the most tender-hearted people you could ever meet. She was also highly gifted with outstanding stamina as a long-distance runner her whole life. Meanwhile, 17-year-old Judah is described as sincere and someone who would stick by your side through the most challenging situations, no matter the circumstances. Reputably known as the soldier of our family, his strength and generosity resonated with all of those he knew. Everybody's sad. Everybody's sad. Nobody feels good. He's in disbelief, you know. And 15-year-old Pharaoh, who was also known as Pep, was a star soccer player who trained on his off time and physically prepped his body to play the sport professionally. He was up and onward to becoming a member of Toronto FC Juniors, a goal he set in motion for years. Pharaoh was intelligent and his love was unconditional. He was one of the fastest players we have on the team. Uh, such an amazing young man, uh, it's a great loss. Their uncle says the teen's mother, four remaining siblings and extended family are all grieving their loss. It just sucks that they didn't get a chance to make mistakes that we all made. You know, everybody has stories when they were teenagers of doing reckless stuff. We all did reckless stuff. You know. We've all been in, in cars and people are doing things behind the wheel. It just sucks that they didn't get to make the mistakes that we all got to make. The community, too, is mourning for the family. Oh, my goodness. I mean, being a mother myself of two boys, unimaginable. There's just no way. I can't imagine what the parents is going through right now. My heart is broken for them. It's incredibly tragic and uh, to be so young. Peel Regional Police say the teens all died before emergency responders were able to reach them. The original police say the teens were traveling southbound when for some unknown reason they left the road. They struck this traffic post and in fact you can see where it was uh, put back up this afternoon. Then they crossed the street and struck that tree. The teens were just three blocks from home when they died. Reporting live from Janice Golding, now back to Nathan.